very sorry. Um, this weekend, um, did not watch any XFL at all. Did not watch any college basketball at all. Did not watch the NBA at all. I just took a break this week, um, and and I'm honestly kind of done with the XFL. To be completely honest with you, um, kind of done with the Renegades. You know, they kind of suck. Uh, but what we do have is the IFL, the Indoor Football League. The season is coming very, very soon. March the 7th, we begin the IFL season. We begin the 91-game trek um, to the playoffs in, what, July? And we begin... And, you know, we begin the trek to finding out who will become the IFL champion um, once again. Now, the IFL has changed their logo a little bit. Um, there's also been a bunch of signings and stuff that I won't go over. <laughs> and there's just been a lot that's happened um, since, you know, the last time I talked about the league. But we're going to do this each and every week now. Um, so, you know... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired of the XFL, but then again, it's just like, I'll try, try my best to watch anyway, um, but, you know, um, no promises. But we do have two IFL games this week, and that's the Quad City Steam Wheelers taking on the Cedar Rapids River Kings on Saturday, March the 7th at 7.05 p.m. That's 8.05 for you East Coasters. And then the San Diego Strike Force, one of the worst teams last year, um, taking on also one of the worst teams last year, the Bismarck Bucks. And that's on March the 8th at 2.05 p.m. So only two games this week. Um, the IFL has 13 teams. There's going to be a lot of differences and, you know, buys and stuff like that. So, you know, and I think, you know, there's not really a lot to say about this first week, and I think there's going to be a press conference today with the Strike Force today. Um, it'll be at some point, but oh, I think it's live now, actually. Um, but yeah, you know, looking at this week and looking at the games we have available to watch, it's going to be a very fun time, let me tell you that. Um, and, you know, what in the world's going to happen? Who knows? But, you know, it. You're just expecting some good football, then I guarantee you're gonna get it. Um, I honestly have outdoor football fatigue, so it's nice to see the indoor game get back at it. And you know, it's gonna be fun to see. You know, um, I'm not sure about rosters and stuff for everybody, but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna look into that right now. Uh, but you know. Um, I know Bismarck really hasn't signed anybody. I know I know San Diego has signed a couple people, and so has Cedar Rapids, so has Quad City. And I know there's been some players that have like been shifted around, like Tommy Armstrong got shifted around. I think I think he did. I can't remember exactly. But, but you know, it's gonna be a fun week a fun weekend of games, you know, only two games. And um yeah. <sighs> It, it, it's just, just going to be that good. It's going to be great. Let me tell you that. And if you don't think so, well then, damn. Well, there's something wrong with you. So, yeah. Um, the IFL is back. I am ready. I am excited to get to watch this league, you know, again, you know, for the second year in a row. This is the second year that I've followed this league in full detail. Um... And this time I'm going to try my best to, you know, get good analysis and stuff like that for each and every week. And if not, well then, that sucks. <laughs> but, yeah, um, it, it's going to be, again, you know, it's just going to be great to see the IFL back in action. And, yeah, and that new logo does not look the greatest, but I mean, hey, it works, you know, for the IFL's plans to try and expand further. Um, yeah, there's also been some expansion rumors and stuff like that, you know, like Albany and Philadelphia and stuff like that, you know, old AFL cities from, you know, 
from when the AFL died a few months back. <sighs> so, um, please go to the IFL's YouTube channel, check them out. You know, we, we really don't have to say it. I think there was a guy who was also kind of, you know, just like, okay. And there was a good. Um, so shout out to Target Toad. Um, you know, hey, the IFL chats are back, man. Um, it's going to be a fun season, you know, here um, for the IFL and for this channel, Big Boy Sports. So if you are an indoor football league fan and you want to talk about if, if indoor football with me and stuff like that, because I really don't pay too much attention during the off season of the IFL, kind of like how I do with the NFL, um, you know, don't really pay much attention, but, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen this week, and these two games are going to be a very big testament to what's going to be going down uh, for the rest of the season, because nobody else is in action, it's just those four teams, and yeah, let's do this, IFL 2020, let's do it, let's go baby.